fellow crafters, welcome to the Crafty Corner. My name is Miss Lisa for the Fayette County Public Library and I have a craft for you today. How many of you love gum, especially bubble gum? Mmm, it's so good, isn't it? So today we are going to be making this cute little bubble gum machine. In your packet, when you come to the library to, to grab your packet, you are going to find a small paper plate, some foil, some round little stickers, and a sheet of red construction paper. To get started with this bubble gum machine, you're gonna to wanna to take your paper and just fold it in half. So we're gonna fold it in half and go ahead and cut it. All right, and then we're going to take our paper plate and we're going to turn it over and we're going to look and eyeball where the paper plate is on the, on the, on the red paper here. Because we want to make a base, but we want to make a base that, that looks right and something that's not too long, not too short. So I'm going to come up here at these corners and I'm going to cut down just a little bit. Um, actually, I'm not going to cut down, I'm going to cut up. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this off just a little bit because I think that's too long. Okay. And we're going to put that paper plate back on there and that looks about right. And so we're going to need our base here. And let me just double check with the one I've already made because I'm getting my diagonals wrong. Okay, we're going to go up. So we're going to take this and actually if we cut this just a little bit, and then if I wanted to, I could fold this over just a little bit like this. See what I did there? And now I can get the angle exactly right and it's gonna look like it matches on both sides. So then we're going to take our paper plate and look at that, that is like perfect. So we're gonna take our white glue, boys and girls. You're gonna need white glue because we're gonna be gluing on this inside curve of the paper plate. So I'm gonna slather the glue on there like that. And then I'm going to glue my base. I'm just gonna make sure it looks right. Slide it over just a little bit. And really press it down so that it sticks. Oops, I almost had so much on there it was sliding. Okay, so there's our base to our paper, to our bubble gum machine. Now, to do the top of your bubble gum machine, you may wanna get a pencil, or I'm just gonna pull out a crayon here and you're gonna to want to have the bay or the top of your bubble gum, your lid, come off, okay, come off about right here and right here. And you can design any kind of lid you want, but I'm gonna make one that has these ovals here like this. And then I'm gonna have um, just another um, like half circle ovally top. So if you draw it out and you like it, then you can go ahead and cut it. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this and hopefully it's about even on both sides because if not, you're about out of paper. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that across. And I have noticed that my one side is longer than the other just a little bit. So I'm going to trim this one up and as you work, you can design your lids however you want. Now that looks really pretty good. Although the top looks a little too tall for me. All right, so I'm gonna just go trim that top down just a little. All right, and then we're gonna be gluing on the outside edge of your bubble gum machine. Again, on this curved side, so you're gonna use lots of glue. And then you're gonna press it down. It sort of, looks like, sort of looks like a hat, but it's our bubble gum machine lid. All right, it's wanting to slide on me again. All right, so once that's done, now comes the fun part. You get to put the bubble gum in the machine, but you also need to have a hole down here for the, for the money to go in. So you have a piece of foil and we need to make a little circle. So the best way that I have found to make a circle is to make a square. So I've made a square about the size I want. And then I'm just gonna trim off those edges just ever so slightly, round that up. Okay, and then you have a hole. That's a little bit bigger than most, so I might wanna try to trim it down just a little. And you have plenty of foil, so you should be able to, if you mess up and you make it too small, 
you can change it. Okay, well, you guys get the idea. Make a circle out of foil. I like the shiny side versus the dull side, so I'm gonna glue on the dull side. Make sure you get to those edges so that it doesn't curl up. We're gonna put our little circle right here. And if you have a Sharpie handy, you can write how much your bubble gum is gonna cost. So I'm just gonna put 25 cents for one quarter. 25 cents. For one corner, you can get some bubble gum. Now, as I was saying before, now the fun part comes. You get to take your stickers and just lay them in the bubble gum machine. So most of the bubble gum is going to be hanging out at the bottom until, you know, until somebody puts a quarter in and they plop out. So I would suggest that you take your little circles and start at the bottom versus laying them all over the place. But it's totally up to you where you want to put your bubble gum. Some of these are probably colors of gum you've never seen before, but that's okay, it just makes it colorful. Ever had black licorice gum or, let's see, the purple could be grape gum and then the pink is bubble gum. Maybe, I don't know, have you ever had any blueberry or maybe pink lemonade? Hmm. Maybe I'm making up some flavors. Some orange gum, lime gum, <laughs> blueberry, lemon, raspberry, yum. Anyway, so as you lay your, lay your little stickers in there and you get all your little pieces of bubble gum. And that's it, boys and girls. That's how you make a little bubble gum machine. I think it's adorable. All right, boys and girls, thank you so much for watching The Crafty Corner. I'm Miss Lisa for the Fayette County Public Library. See me again next Tuesday for another craft. Bye now. Oh.